All right, welcome back here to Good Morning San Diego. Have you ever had car problems, have trouble starting your car? We're going to help you out this morning, if you have a Model T, that is. Here's Dave Stahl joining us now. Good to see you, sir. Hey, no problem at all. You know what? This has been a, a segment I've wanted to do for such a long time. I can't even begin to tell you. I am so excited. I don't even remember his first name. <laughs> What's your name? Greg. Okay, he, Greg. He's excited too, apparently. Remember, he almost forgot there it. There you go. And tell the folks a little bit about these cars. We got George Coffin in the back here with his hot rod. But the big thing is, you guys hold an event where people can come and actually learn how to start one of these type of cars? Because it's not just as easy to turn a key. Well, well, we'll show you how to start this car over here. This is a 1914 Model T Ford. You flew it. This one here is a 19. Oh, it's a 1912. Can't you tell the they, body style is so much different than you the 14? Talk. I'll go over here and get they you. They built get Model T Fords from 1908 through 1927. That's a 1912. Wow. The green one over here is a 1927, <laughs> the last year of production. Ford Motor Company built more than 15 million Model Ts in those 19 years. Uh, the only one to exceed that number is the Volkswagen Beetle. Beetle. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah. did it in about 40 years. Exactly. Now you'll notice the differences in the body. Look at the fender, for instance. The fender on the 12 is yeah. flat across the top. Yeah, look at this fender. See how it's all flat? The, the fender here is much more curved. So then this one over here is, okay, and what reason is that? Mud? Well, these weren't oh. called fenders. These were called mud guards back ah. in the day. So you'll see the, the body is different. The, the cowling here is different than his. Now, what year was he this? He has a wooden fire. Well, this is 27. And that, what year is that? 1912? That's, that's a 12. His gas tank is under the front seat. My gas tank is in the cowling. So the body styles change just like we're used to nowadays, but the chassis, the running gear, engine, transmission, all that remained virtually the same. Yeah. You could interchange these bodies, they'd fit, they'd run. You wow. could interchange the engines, they'd fit, they run. Well, and the other because thing of the moving assembly line right. and the uh, interchangeability of parts that Henry Ford came up with. Yeah, and you know, another one that's really quite interesting is the fact that we were looking at over here at George's car, and we'll get our camera guy to come over here and take a look at uh, George's little hot rod here. And we were talking about coil packs on new vehicles. George, this thing has got coil packs, just like on a, on a 2012. Right, and, they, and it's got an alternator inside the transmission. It's got an automatic transmission, only instead of working off of hydraulics, it works with your feet. Yeah, exactly, and they're using a lot of it. They're not using the feet technology in new cars, but mm -hmm. the coil packs are actually part of a system that they've gone back to, and it, and it seems to be working quite efficiently. What mm -hmm. year is this hot rod? This is 1912 Torpedo Roadster. How rare is this? Uh, well, it's obviously pretty rare. The uh, I couldn't quote you how many were made, but yeah. uh, they they were very not the most popular Ford. But going back to this 26 or 1927 down to 1908, all people think all Model Ts are the same. Well, obviously, what we have here today shows you that they're not all the same. Exactly. They are totally different. Yet, what's underneath them is all the same. Well, let's talk about the myth. Everybody said, well, if you buy a Model T, you can have it in any color but black, and that's totally a myth. Is that not correct? Well, in the mid-years, in the 20s, that was true, and it was to keep things cheap. But when Ford first started the Model T, they had a number of different colors, and by the end, in 1927, as you see here, the green, the black, they had a red maroon car, right. and they had various colors available. So not all Model mm -hmm. Ts were black. And the nice thing is you guys have an event. How often do you have your start event? I guess I'll call it the startup event. Uh, once a year, uh, next Saturday in Santee, we'll be teaching friends and family uh, how to uh, start and drive the Model T. Where, whereabouts in, in Santee? In Santee, 9510 Pathway Drive in Santee. Okay. Sorry, so about 9 o'clock. Website they can go to if they want to... Model T Ford Club of San Diego or Model T Ford Club of America and click on the San Diego link. Where, for the uh, Model T Ford where, Club. Where are you going? Uh, we're going to wrap up this segment. I'm going to take a little tour. And of, you've actually uh, decided you're leaving? Of uh, Kearney Mesa. Well, That's hop right. in yours. We'll let you guys. We'll do a ride off. And, uh, sir, you can go ahead and start yours up as well. <laughs> Crank it up. This Crank thing's up. got everything but a GPS nav system. We're all set to go. Dave Stahl. Thank you so much, my friend. Good morning, Teddy. We'll continue after the break. Mm -hmm. so, take off, buddy. Let's go. Let's cruise. It's a horseless carriage.